From Bouge, we went by jeep to the village of Terra in the far west of India near the Pakistan border, where we spent two weeks. There are certain areas where historically wolf attacks on children have occurred. Okay? But uh, nobody had actually studied them, nobody had actually authenticated they were, that they were wolves. It's like the British had reported that 2,000 kids were killed by wolves or something. Like that. It's just, you know. And then they killed 3,000 wolves. I mean, I don't think India ever had 3,000 wolves at any one time, so how could you kill them? But uh, so that is, that's the way jackals would have been killed and lots of animals would have been killed. Cut the tails and ask for a bounty. And get the bounty, then bring the same tail back again, ask for the bounty. So those were things which worked in that time and you had these large numbers coming. But it's true that wolves do attack kids. I mean, they're large carnivores and predators. So. And there are certain situations in which this can happen. And that is in areas with very high human density, very low livestock density. Okay. Or the livestock is very heavily guarded and there's no wild prey. So, and there's very poor housing, you know, people don't live indoors, they live outside in patched husks and all that and they sleep over in the open. And uh, there's good cover all around you so the wolf can approach you very close and you know that. So these three or four conditions, it's a socio-economic problem, okay, mixed with ecology. So if you're poor, you have lots of kids around, no livestock for animals to feed on, no wild prey, habitat is good for wolves, then it's a recipe for creating a child lifting wolf. You know. Oh, Three goats killed by wolves. It's a marker, a village marker. It oh. shows the boundary of one village with another. Now, what you do is you sweep the antenna. Instead of relying totally on the needle, what you do is just take an arc. Uh -huh. Say, uh, uh, so the animal is somewhere between this bush and this bush and you can say that you take a bisector of that arc yeah. that is where your animal is We stayed in the pilgrim guest house of the Jain Temple in Terra. Thank you. 
Painting. Huh? Painting? Huh. Painting is some pura slot. Hmm? Doing some pura slot. Work, do, uh, work doing some pura slot. We are laying the track plots for uh, to develop an index uh, for the density of jackals in this area and uh, what we do is we make uh, circular plots of uh, one meter radius and uh, uh, bait it with some kind of lure which is very uh, attractive attractant uh, to jackals and other carnivores in this area. So when they come to uh, sniff or uh, feed on whatever is put in the plot, you find tracks and on the basis of that we can calculate the density of jackals in this area. Highlight the position number J2 and then just say go to 0 0.04 kilometers. But the geographic quality is very low. It's three. It, it should be one, some. No? no, it should be more. beyond more than at least more than seven.
This animal is just this this fellow coming in like this. Okay. He is he's not coming in from here. He is com coming Yeah, it's just the entry point is just that. Okay. And They're just coming in one there. Animal went out like yeah, and he's messed around here and messed around here and that's it. That's him. Then going back this going way. Back and that way. Yeah. So he's gone this way. Yeah. And then gone back out from there. That's his trail. What no one was able to tell us was whether the heavy traffic on some of our track plots represented one excited animal or a plague of jackals. That's a big animal. Yeah. One of the biggest bulls. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, two jackals, one bigger, one smaller. Yeah? The fort in Terra belongs to the family of the project leader, Dr. Jala. We heard it fell down during the earthquake that hit this area the week after we left. None of the people we knew were injured.
Come in, Fernanda. Come in, Fernanda. It's Chuck here. Over. <laughs> no. Forget it. Can you imagine trying to change it that way, right through the night? No. No. <laughs> yes. Relax, man. <laughs> this Three. one works. Yeah. Chuck? Not the other one. Okay, yes. Six, seven, eight, chunk, one. One. Very good. Well, <laughs> very good. I'll try it. Very I'll good. try it, but jeez. This is Ambika Madam. This is my pen. This is Amam. Um, this is. This is. Very good, Chad. Very good. What do you make it, Chuck? 129. 129. Ah, fire! No, no, yes, sir. Okay? That's all right. No, not okay. <laughs> okay, what do we want? What's the next one? 5670. To ah. save time, should we go do all the fours first? Well, sure. Well, yeah. It's not supposed to. Well, well, I mean, not? it just, just changes the time. Oh, right? you mean right now? Yeah, yeah well, I mean... Right the time yeah, down. okay. That okay. means I don't have to change four No, no, five. I understand, I understand. So oh. what, what's the next four? This is very good. What's the next four? Oh. Next four is <laughs> 4211. This is very good. Four. This is very good. <laughs> Calling Fernanda and Nicole, over. Oh, 
Chuck calling Fernando and Nicole over. Getting in that one at all? Nothing on this one. Nothing on that. One. Not getting, not getting this guy. So shall I try and get these other fours again? So what is done is the scats are washed. So whatever is uh, left, like hair and uh, bones and berries, that kind of stuff is identified. And uh, we find out the feeding habits of all these animals uh, living in this area. And uh, find out what constitutes the major prey uh, base to animals. When are they shown? What time of the year? People come and buy. But here they sit on sit on the bush and yeah, and other birds too on the transects. I've noticed in the bushes you can get quite close to them. So they fly on the transects. For example, tomorrow we have one. Je, to ghar mathe photo va puriye je. Oda bar na, vilayat na je, Europe na, America na, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. 
Chinkara is highly adapted to these arid conditions, so they can survive. What about the Nilga? Nilga, they do need water a little bit, so they'll go to the fields or villages in the night. And Nilga, they do need water. So if if there is three to four years of drought, you'll have a lot of uh, Nilga mortality, which will control the population. 
because they don't have any predators on them. And the one on the right the is right. a female, uh -huh. the light colored one. Oh, how beautiful. What a pose. <laughs> It's a beautiful bird. Mm. Very good hunters. Pudra? 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 Hyena moves, uh, there's a lot of head movement like this. So the collar, when the collar moves, it, it, it measures the counts. So when the hyena is inside the den, it doesn't move a lot. So you get uh, the less uh, number than when the animal is out. So if you have normal collars, it just transmits the signals and you can uh, get the whereabouts of the animals. And uh, then you have activity collars which uh, gives you various activities of the animal and if you can follow the animal continuously around the clock you get to know what animal is doing in different uh, hours of the day and then you have recapture collars which is more sophisticated technology in which you have a two-way communication system so you can actually communicate uh, with the collar and uh, tell the collar to do things for you and which is like uh, Getting, giving you the activity counts and recapturing the animals for isotope study. I'm ready. I need the wire. Hmm. First, get a direction. How far, Kartike? Do you think? Sir, gadi pe rakha hua aari hai. Very close. Very good. Okay, okay, I'm firing. I'm enabling the dots. Fifty. Two. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving. Fifty-one. Firing grey dots. Okay. Ready? Yes, sir. It's going. Okay. Going. Okay. It's hit it. Gone. Time. Okay. Time, sir. 749. Please note down somebody. 749. Okay, now we need to get out of here fast. So you are Haji. Huh? He lost. She's gone down somewhere. If you go back, this 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 suggests 
somewhere in afternoon it's all zero 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 that means she was in and last night also it shows a lot of zero zero that means she didn't come out so mm -hmm. actually we were looking for her but she was not out she was inside which do Uh, hang on, I'll, I'll just. I'll just Someone hold this. And this. There you go. Which one? There you go. 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 Don't touch. It's not touching anybody, right? Thirty-one point seven zero. Thirty-one point seven zero. Okay. Put it down. Slow. The weight of the animal, uh -huh. which suggests uh, uh, two kilos less hmm. than the cap oh, wow. last capture, the first capture. That means she had eaten at least two to three kilos of meat that day, yeah. because it's only been three to four days since we last captured her. So she can't lose at least <laughs> two kilos in just four days. Yeah. The age of a hyena is determined by this this molar, three molar. Mm -hmm. This one. They, as they bite on the bones, mm. this wears down. Mm. See this? Yes. Totally gone. All. Eight. Mm. Mm. <laughs> The biting reflex is still there, <laughs> and she can bite through this bag, this suitcase of ours. God, look at those teeth! Yeah. Wow. Okay, so. just writing down. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Top canine. She's going to come out in about five minutes now. Twenty-three point zero three. Hmm. Lower, right. Twenty-six point zero one. Twenty-three point six six. Lower canine. Right side. Third premolar. On the lower side, okay. is ten point eight five. Don't take it from my hand. Well, that's five days ago. Wonderful. Hello, hello. Hmm. Hello, hello. Hmm. It's either a Bonnelly's eagle or a tawny eagle. We'll have to check in the book. Namaste. Hey, 
Ya lo vamos a dar a meter con la cara. Va. Ah,
<laughs> You're gonna be missed? Yes, uh, my dad and my best friend are picking me up and I already made a request at the restaurant I want to eat at. <laughs> <laughs> and and which one is it? Um, it's called Marche. It's, it's a convention. 